Hello, Maybe. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And we're still on a matter of faith, and we have to find the priestess. What's he called? He Hexione? Hexione, I think. And I finally found the cave where she's hiding with some other priestesses. Yep, took me quite a while to find her. And we also still have three mercenaries on our tail, but that seems to be always the case in Arcadia. So, yeah, just look for the priestesses. On well, the priestess. Goodness, that is bright. And straight into the wall. Can't see a thing. <laughs> okay. Oh. Exioni, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? Hmm. I still don't trust her at all. Don't tempt my wrath. Speak plainly. No more games. Just want to help Mercia. No more games. I don't want to play games. Please, tell me what you know so I can save Mirto. <laughs> of course, beloved Eagle Bearer. We want the same. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her. But it is too dangerous for us, mere mortals, to descend into. I'll go get it. Yep. As I said, I don't trust you. But I'm going to take your stuff. Oh, oh no, I'm on fire. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Yep, finally found the button <laughs> to dodge. Oh my god. Comes from not playing for a day. Right. So you... Let me get that as well. There is no fire near here. And... Now I'm going to get your plant. Acquire the flower. Oh. Okay. Bounty cleared. Does it mean we are... Ooh. That's a beast! The priestesses expect me to become bear shit? Well, like this. First the bear, then the plant. Yeah, sure. We can take out... Uh, no. Citizen. <laughs> we can't do anything without setting ourselves on fire. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, yeah. Just gonna shoot that bear. Stop pacing. I want a headshot. Seriously. Yeah, missed it completely. <laughs> Seriously. I cannot lock on to that head. Oh, having said that, the moment I said it, I did. Now, I'm using knockout arrows. Why am I on knockout arrows? I'm sorry. Kill the bear. Yes. I get the feeling the priestesses were hoping for a martyr god and not a pissed off Mystios. Right. You would tell them, Cassandra. And right through the bear. Yep. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaga. And you knew exactly which plant to look at? What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Oh my god, he's creepy. No, no, no. Let's go. Did they conjure him up? Yeah, that is why <laughs> because I killed the bear. And now to you. You'll be lucky if I let you live. Exioni! 
I killed your bear. You're here. You're alive. Very much so. And angry. You better have an antidote for poor Mirto, or else. <laughs> or what? The risk occurs to make all the Olympos tremble. I'll show you all of earthly pain. Yep. Shut your lying, filthy mouths. You poisoned Mirto to try to hurt me. And then when I found you, you tried to feed me to a cursed bear. Yes. No, we didn't mean it. Didn't mean it? You lying, Malikas. You've got Linu wrapped around your fingers, and you're living fat off the villagers in my name. It's true. So true, your divinity. I am not a god, you thieving swine. Give me the antidote for Mirto, or I'll split your heads open. Now be gone. Okay, so they poisoned uh, the poor girl to get to Cassandra. Why? Hmm. Have I missed something? Was she supposed to die or just get sick? Okay, I'm confused. Hmm. Let's get back and uh, worry about this once Nosho is healthy again. Bobos, take me there. Now we're back in Elis and the mercenaries have gone. Or the bounties have gone. <laughs> oh dear. Somebody in Arcadia doesn't like us. Is it Arcadia? Oh, no idea. Right, and we're in the village again, and hopefully the girl is still alive. Is she? I have the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Cassandra? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. I, <laughs> my glory, give you my blessing for the future. I know what you want to believe, but I'm not a god. Let's stick with that. Look inside yourselves. You'll know that I'm no god, and you can live for yourselves. Maybe you are right. Still, you saved my daughter. I'll never forget that. Thank you, Eagle Bearer, for giving us the courage to stand on our own. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message and a guide for them to do for themselves. Okay. Got a bronze chest plate. A uh, trophy on the image of faith. Okay. And that is, yes, a very good likeness. You showed immense strength of character in helping the people of Lino and not taking the easy route with them, Cassandra. I hope to capture something of your nobility in the final form. However long it takes. Uh. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. <laughs> and um, let's talk about that smaller nose again. Hmm. Or maybe not. So, okay. Image of faith done. So what's next? I think it's about time to go to Olympia. Yes, there are a ton of quests. Okay, let's just start with this one and I'll uh, fast travel. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Let's start with this one. It's closest. Right. Yep, Olympic choose. We know, we know. 
down we go. And uh quest should be right here. Good. Huh. Herodotus. Cassandra, please. If these fools break the truce. Thief! You're on to talk, you double dealing dog! Okay, stop it while I'll stop you. Calm down. We're in Olympia. Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Right. What's going on, Herodotus? Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family. Only a lowly Eonian would steal. I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. It, it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. Okay. If there's been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. While Lelech is from Ionian stock, a grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. So. I'll do it, of course. I'll find out what happened and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. The Jachme of Romance. And we have to find clues somewhere. Oh. Down there. Good. Fine. Let's go down there. Hop down. Ooh. Be close to an unchecked target. No. Don't get sidetracked. I am tracking this one and that is what I will concentrate on and I will avoid the fires. Oh, go away. Yes, I know. I can read. I don't want to track this. Oh, for heaven's sake. Seriously, is that thing going? <laughs> is, is that thing going to be there all the time? <sighs> for heaven's sake, I don't want to track this now. I need to talk to him. Yeah, not now. Did you see anything? No, no, not nothing. Far less than anything. So you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? <laughs> Those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's all right if you ran. Fear can change a man. I wasn't afraid. I was asleep. Oh, I, I mean... I won't tell. But did you see anything? No. Except... Yes? Some torches. Heading east. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed! If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. Okay. So, the guard slept. These crypts have been opened. There's no sign of forced entry. If you say so. Something around the corner. Something lying there. Hmm. A note. 
Take all that you can carry and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. Well, that sounds like a true romance. So, wait. They're in the center of the valley of Olympia. They are hiding in the destroyed house of Oinomaos. Oinomaos. Where is that? Valley of Olympia. Hmm. Center. Do we get boundary? No. No, we do. Okay. Let's assume it's this one. It's in the dead center. Well, as good as. I think that's the dead center. But there is a question mark. So let's head towards the question mark. I've heard talks of ruins outside the city. And from what the guard said, the torches were heading in that direction. Were they? So we are on the right path. I hope. Okay. I found the thief. Did you? And oh, that's uh, one of the Orichalcum ones, the blue ones. Or oh, there is actually one additional one, but it's a Corinthia that we haven't done. I mean, we've done two of the three now. Okay. Right. Ruins. Destroyed house of Oinomaos or something <laughs> similar. And what? Find ancient steely. We have a tomb here. There's a tomb. Yes. Okay. Um, let's finish this one <laughs> before your tomb raiding. So, where are the thieves? Okay. So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours, it's our inheritance. So, what do you mean inheritance? How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. Is it? If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Yup. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Enough. Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Father, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? We have other children? Seriously? Yeah. There's no question if I have to kill someone. It's gonna be you. I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for their future without the both of you. Okay, kill the parents. Right? I was just going to say they are unarmed, but apparently not. You really want to take me on? Yeah. And that is a mercenary. Hmm. I 
I didn't want it to come to this. But now we can forge a new future for our two families. One built on love. I wish you luck with that. Yeah. Fun quest completed. Let's loot everything we can loot. Probably the stuff they want to base their future on that they stole were you. Do I care who you are? And there she flies. Nora the Snow Leopard. Can we get one more. And there she goes. However, we still have a dog. Is it a dog? Or probably a leopard, not a dog. Yeah, it should be a leopard. And there it is. Um, where is she gone? Hello? Um, Nora? Hello? Oh, there she is. Yes. Persian warrior armor. Blue. No. He was talking. Somebody's running away from something. I don't know which. But... Well, bear with me. I have to go tomb raiding. Talking of tomb raiding, I think I got an ability. A new one. Yep. I got, if I remember correctly. Here we go. Yep. I got the death veil. And I actually tried it out. Yep. And there they go. So once you assassinate someone, they just automatically disappear and cannot be detected by anyone. But this is a skill or an ability that comes with the DLC. So if you do not have the um, DLC, then you won't see this. Yep. I'm trying to think of the name of the DLC. Are you kidding me? I can't remember. Oh my god. I'm getting senile. That one. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, that one. Legacy of the First Blade! Oh my god! That is embarrassing! Right, let's um, find an entrance. Wait, the entrance was down there. Probably. Down here somewhere? No. Um... Ah! This... This one? Can we get in there? Yes. Oh my god. Somebody burned a throne. And there's a chariot. And there's another one. And there's a body. What is going on here? Huh. Oh my goodness. That's a horse. Right, and I can hear a draft. And that is where it comes from. Yes. So, fine, we have one treasure and one steely. And there's the steely. Oh, that was a short one. <laughs> and there's the treasure. Seriously, that's it? Okay. Right. Let's steal everything. Is there a snake? No snake. Okay. Yep. 
also investigate if we get a prompt. There it is. But wait, I have to put her in the right place, otherwise she's just going to stare at the air. Destroyed house of whoever. And another another horse. Right. Let's get the treasure. Mercenary belt. And then let's get out of here. Well, that was a short one. <laughs> short to the point. Yes. And out. Right. Don't think we need this anymore. So, now what? What's that? Hmm. Okay, let's um, go back. Barnabas abroad. I think this is the one we're actually here to do. But we're not gonna do this now. Not yet. That's, um, Kalipatira. Okay. Gatter runner. The message, the stick and the artist. Phidias? Okay. I'm throwing the bat. Good heavens. Where do we start? Start here. And then do these, and just around, and then make our way back. <laughs> okay, let's do Kelipatira. Yep. So, right. This woman has disrespected the gods and shown contempt for tradition. Please, I only wanted to see what she would compete. You mean you wanted to gaze lustfully upon the bodies of the athletes? No, I swear! Okay. You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them. Disguised as a man, no less. So, I'm here to compete at the Pancration. Mm. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much temptation. Goodness. You would think men are bad enough. And now women turn towards, to, turn against, not towards, against women. Who are you? Kalipatira. I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me prove I have a right to see my son compete. You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Oh my god. I won't let this happen, of course not. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. Nobody's gonna I die. Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Right, investigate the resting area. And the resting area is. There. Is 
So we're here at the resting area. And there's one clue. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. Okay. So that's one. Okay. Number two. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatera has an admirer. Yes, anonymous love letter. I've always longed for you, though your eyes do not speak the same language as my heart. Your devotion is an aspiration, and how I wish to comfort you, though I know it will never be my sweet, sweet K. Right. And you? I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Oh, good. Tell me about your family. Your mother is in trouble. Your mother is in trouble. Your mother has been accused of impiety. What? What's going on? What happened? Please, calm down. Calm down? Do you know what they'll do to her? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had a right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. Okay. There's another one. I'm sorry. Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Yeah, the sun. Didn't we just establish that? Okay. And I'm quite sure you have a twin somewhere else. Because I've seen you at least once. Probably several times. And... Oh, a feast? No, a letter? <laughs> the poem The Agoras of Rhodes. Dedicated by Pindarus himself. To Kay. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. Okay, now well, let's go. Um, back. There, yes. No. Which way? This way? Oh, there is a mercenary. Hmm. Don't get in the way, I have to save a woman. What, she's up there now? Oh, they want to throw her down somewhere. Hold on. I'm coming. So, don't dare throw anybody down. Goodness. Tronos. Is that a baby or the omphalos you're eating? Goodness. We are gathered here today to carry out the will of the gods. To carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? She's innocent. Spare her. She's guilty. Do what you want. I need more time. She's innocent. Yes. Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. 
She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Right. My gosh, it's a big belt. And they were just going to throw her down? The mountain? Yeah, well, we have experience with this. We don't like it. We talk to you again. Don't fall off. Is she gonna fall off? <laughs> Thank you, Mystios, for proving my connection to the great Diagoras. Darling. You cannot kill yourself. Oh my god. And who? Kronos. Yeah, I think he ate his children. Oh my god. He's having a nibble at that baby. Huh. Goodness. Yeah. Wasn't there something to loot? Yes. <laughs> the truth spear. Right. Isn't there something else? Yes. Something else hiding there. Athena? Anything else? No? Okay. Fine. So, right. I think this is a good place to take a rest. Yeah. <laughs> Look around a little. And uh, yeah, next time we'll do some of the other ones. And maybe I can decide on what I want to do with the ability point because I have no idea what to do with it. And yeah. And we have to see why there is a mercenary after us. And there is Icarus. Come on, stroke him. Yes. Good bird. Okay, so thank you for watching. And until next time. Bye bye.